Well, I think it's going to be time for a little test, you know, to see if I can actually sleep in here. You know, I mean, I've I've stayed in hotels, and I got to tell you, I'm not a fan of hotel motels because you know it's a strange place. The bedding smells weird, and I'd much rather have familiar surroundings. I've never had an RV before, but I'm really familiar with this, and I really you know, like the space. You know, it's cozy in here. It's uh, like a little chalet, but what I'm going to do is make this into a large bed and to do that I'm going to take these side pads that you sit up against and what they do is they go right here in the middle and then there's a board that is supposed to stretch across from here you know, that supports it. So I'm going to measure that, cut a piece of board and see how it looks. Well, I found some, you know, actually a really good piece of plywood from my scrap bin over here from past projects. And uh, it's right here. And what this is, is called birch plywood. And if you were to look at this, you'd see that it has about 10 plies making it up, which makes it a very stable, very strong type of plywood. And this is kind of overkill for what I'm going to use it for. but you take a look, I just had some left over. I, I built this guitar side bender from plans that I got on the, the internet that I had to buy. And that's for another hobby that I usually use. It required birch plywood, of which I had this left. Um, the measurements that I took, you know, was 25 and a half by 21 and a half. And so I'm gonna set this to uh, 25 and a half. It's hard to do this while holding the camera. I'll lower the blade. Get that out of the way. Here's the scrap that I had. And uh, there it is. 21 and a half by 25 and a half, and that's going to be just perfect. Well, there it is in place, a piece of wood, and that's going to make a huge bed. I'm going to take these two side pads and uh, place them right down the middle. It should come right to the end right there, and we'll do that in just a second. Well, there it is. It's all bed back here. It's huge. This is going to be comfortable, and I can't see not being comfortable inside of here. Now, I always wondered what that little cutout was for. How come it isn't as long as, you know, down here to the end? And I think what it is, it's the Feng Shui of the Explorer. Because if I were back here and I was going to get dressed, I could sit down. And if you look to my left, I've got all this space. And if you look to my right, I have all this space. I have plenty of overhead space. So I can easily and comfortably sit here and put on my shirt, reach down, put on my pants, tie my shoes. And if this cushion went all the way to the end where the other one was, I'd be sitting forward like this. And if you look to my left, there's nothing but cabinet. If you look to my right, there's nothing but there's nothing but old TV. So the design of the Explorer allows for you to sit here a little bit back and I can scoot back on this bed and there's my feet. Or I can go sideways. Or I could lay all the way sideways. My head isn't touching the front and my feet aren't touching the bottom. I have plenty of room on this side. So this is this is like almost too comfortable. If there is such a thing. You know, I mean for a camper van, uh, it's the room in here is phenomenal. So now I'm gonna go shop for a sleeping bag. And uh, the type of sleeping bag I'm gonna get, I'm not gonna get like a you know, a minus zero degree sleeping bag, like a mummy bag, because it would be a waste to have all this room up here. All this room. 
and not use it. So I'm going to get a nice wide sleeping bag, you know, the kind that people use when they go car camping, and stick it in here. And I don't plan on, you know, camping in places that are below freezing, but I plan on going places that are where the climate is friendly, where, you know, mountainous areas, places where I, national parks, things like that, during the seasons when they're pleasant. You know, and they're even pleasant during some of the off seasons, you know, where they're not as crowded, and that's more my style. So I'm going to get a big wide sleeping bag, maybe 30, 40 inches, you know, so that I can stretch out in it. If they made a bigger one, I would certainly do that. But there's a sporting goods shop around the corner, and let's go see what they got. I'm looking at these, they range in price. I guess it goes from more expensive to less expensive. Starting out at like, I don't know, a couple hundred bucks for some of these. Almost three. What I'm looking for is big and comfortable because I'm not gonna be sleeping on the ground. It doesn't have to be lightweight, it doesn't have to be backpackable. It just has to be comfortable. This is the one I'm looking at right here, just because it's nice and wide. It's a 39 by 90. I know it's a plus 20, but I'm going to be a fair weather camper, I'm thinking. This one right here is 33 by 80. So this one's bigger by like 6 inches wider and 10 inches longer. Well, this is what I ended up with. It's called a 4-in-1 RV bag. And the reason why it's a 4-in-1 RV bag is because it's actually two sleeping bags made into one. Or you can unzip them and make them into two. So you can see how huge it is. It uh, should take up that whole king-size bed that I have in the back of the RV. And, uh, you know, if I go camping like with my daughter or something, you know, we can separate them and they become two sleeping bags. They are rated for plus 20 degrees slash 40 degrees. So it should be comfortable for what I'm gonna use it for. And it's big enough because, man, I like to splay out. You know what I'm saying? All right. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is a, <laughs> is a sleeping bag. I think it's gotta be about seven by seven. I have it down here is where I, zipped it open and uh, I can climb in there and I figure I'm going to sleep sideways in this thing you know it's just easier to get in and out instead of just you know scooching down here towards the end of the bed you know I can just kind of sit up I got a couple of pillows here I got those from Costco and I have another one right here. I could put these out. There it is. I'm like ready. Ready for my first night camping experience. Man, this thing looks comfortable. Looks nice. And uh, boy, I tell you. You know the the foam is pretty, I guess, rigid is what you call it. You know, it's a uh, pretty stiff foam on these seats. So I may top it with uh, you know, like a one and a half, two inch memory foam topper. But we'll see what happens tonight. See how comfortable it is. You know, this nice fluffy sleeping bag underneath gives it some padding. So maybe that'll be good enough. If not, I'll try something like that. But I'm all set to go, man. And my little rolling chalet. Well, what I'm doing right now is I'm just hanging out in my van, in my front yard, in the driveway. You know, it feels nice because I got this bed all made up. And so I'm just kind of enjoying a little bit of happily houseless here on YouTube, back here in the bed place in my van.
and just kind of daydreaming. You know, I got some mood lighting on and daydreaming about when this thing is all done and I finally refurbished it and brought it back to life from years of abuse. You know, thinking about the places I'll go, the things I'll do, you know, the people that I'll meet. And uh, it's been a fun journey so far. You know, I like doing this kind of work uh, to kind of like peel away the years of abuse and see the shine come through. You know, refurbishing the cabinets and, you know, fixing it up. You know, it's been kind of a joy, you know, because I, I enjoy doing that kind of stuff. But what I want to do tomorrow, so stay tuned, is I want to go stealth camping here in Las Vegas. I just want to do a dry run, you know, see if I can do it. You know, park somewhere and, you know, close out the windows, you know, and see if I can get a good night's sleep in here. Um, like I said, I'm not going to always stealth camp. I'm going to go to parks when I can. You know, I'll get, uh, I'm, I'm not adverse to hookups, you know. Um, but if I'm traveling and I don't want to, you know, get a park just to, to have a place to lay my head at night, I'm not adverse to pulling over in a Walmart or on a roadside somewhere and stealth camping for a while. And I want to try that to see if I can do it. But I will tell you one thing, I'm comfortable with my surroundings here. You know, this is a... It's a comfortable bed setup back here, and I'm very familiar with the inside of my van now, and it feels like a second home to me. So if you like the video, you know, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, subscribe, ask any questions, and if I can, I'll try to answer them for you. Thanks, and have a great day.